Hi, I'm Susanne Madsen. Welcome to this whiteboard session on balancing your stress levels. Stress is interesting because you actually do need some stress or pressure in order to perform at your best. I've drawn up the stress curve here behind me. On the horizontal axis, we've got your job pressure and on the vertical axis, job performance. And what we see is that on the left hand side, there is very little job pressure and your performance is also quite low. This means that there is very little demand for your skills and for your services. That's quite demotivating if you're there for a long time and we call that for a rust out. As job pressure or stress rises, so will your performance. There is a demand for you and uh, you might feel a bit of a stretch, which can be very, very motivating. But then there is a point at which there is too much pressure or too much stress and your performance will begin to decline because there is too much demand for what you can give. If you operate there for too long, we call that for burnout. Well, you might hit burnout and that's a bad point because you will physically be depleted and it can take a long time to bounce back from that point. You need to operate within your zone of peak performance and avoid these two extremes. Let's look at how you can begin to do that. Well, first of all, you need to recognize that you can actually control your stress levels. Sometimes we think that it's the external events that stress us. But if you find your boss stressful, the interesting thing is that your coworker might not find him or her stressful. So it's not really what happens, it is how we interpret what happens. If that's true, it means that you can begin to work with your attitudes and your perceptions in order to manage your stress levels. You also need to be aware of controlling your emotional brain. Sometimes when we feel stressed, we have a tendency to go into a fight, flight or freeze mode. That's in the emotional brain. But when you're in your emotional brain, it also means that you're not accessing your frontal lobe. And that's where logic resides. So you really need to be aware of calming down. And the best way to do that is to pause. When you feel stressed, ground yourself, pause and take a deep breath. Oxygenate your brain, oxygenate your muscles. Because then you're much better able to see the situation from different angles. How else might I interpret this event? The situation that you find stressful, what else could it mean? That's really a way that you begin to work with your perceptions and see the stressful event differently. But to be honest, this is not just about you and your stress levels. You're a project manager and a leader, and it's your responsibility to also monitor your team's stress levels and to make sure that no one goes to either of these extremes. Thank you for watching. Please visit us again at projectmanager.com.